Now let's talk about or get understanding on the types of cloud computing. We can categorize the different types of cloud computing based on two wide categories, one being a deployment model and the other one being service model. Let's talk about the deployment model first. Deployment model is categorized into three types. First one is public and then private and then hybrid cloud. In other words, public cloud, private cloud and hybrid cloud. It'll be easy for me to explain and also it'll be easy for you to understand if I walk you through this example. Consider the different types of vehicles we use to commute from one place to another. For example, if I want to travel, I can pick a bus which is accessible to anyone. I get in and I pay for the seat that I occupy and I pay for the time that I will be traveling in it and I'm done. Cost is very less here. A similar kind of thing happens in the public cloud. I pay only for the resource that I use and I pay for how long I use. It. If I use less, I pay less. If I use more, I pay more for that month simple. On the other hand, private cloud is like buying your own car and using it for commuting purpose. Here, I pay a huge amount upfront and it is all owned only by me. I do not pay for it in an hourly fashion, but completely and all upfront. The cost here is very huge. And thirdly, if I want the best of both types, like the comfort of the own car and still don't want to to pay all upfront otherwise want only to pay for the time that I use the service I can rent a car similarly I can have it in a hybrid environment meaning if I already have a DC I can integrate it with the cloud and use both the DCs and that would become a hybrid environment all right so that was good of an uh, learning let's summarize the types of uh, cloud based on deployment models and as we know now about the public cloud public cloud is an cloud infrastructure that's made available to the general public over the internet and it is owned by the cloud provider. Some of the major players as cloud providers are AWS, Microsoft Azure, IBM's Blue Cloud and Sun Cloud and private cloud. Now this cloud infrastructure is exclusively operated by a single organization. It can be managed by organizations or third party and may exist on premises or off premises doesn't matter but the point here is this is exclusively operated for a single organization and some companies that provide private cloud are AWS and VMware and hybrid cloud gives the best of both public and the private cloud. For example the federal agencies they opt for private clouds for storing and developing personal data and they use public cloud to share the non-sensitive data with the general public or with other government departments. Now let's talk about different clouds based on the service model. If we need to categorize them broadly, we can categorize them as uh, infrastructure as a service, IaaS, or platform as a service, PaaS, or software as a service, SaaS. They sometimes are referred to as IaaS, PaaS, and SaaS. Now at this moment you could be like this guy thinking, Sam, I thought you're done categorizing the cloud. Now you're going to talk about three more categories. Which one should I pick? Well, let me explain. If all that you want is just a VM and you have all the expertise to install the software on top of it and make it work, then go for IS. If you only want a platform or an interface to program or an interface to upload a program and make it run, then pick PaaS. Or if all that you want is a finished product hosted in the cloud and be able to access it through the internet, then go for SaaS. Here you get a username and password for an application and you can begin to customize the application based on your needs. All right, let's talk about um, IaaS in a bit more detail. IaaS, it gives basic computing infra. It's based on a pay for what you use model. And some of the cloud providers who are big players are AWS, Azure, and Google. And here, the users generally will be IT admins. In PaaS, the provider gives you a platform or a runtime environment for developing, testing, and managing application. It's platform ready. You buy the platform, you upload your code, and you start working on it. And it allows the software developers to deploy applications without running the underlying infrastructure. And as you might have guessed by now, the interesting candidates who would use PaaS is software developers.
And in SaaS, everything is managed by the vendor, be it the hardware or the software, it's managed by the vendor and we pay for the service and we pay for it through a pay as you go subscription model. And as you might have guessed, the end users here would be end customer itself. All right, let's put together everything in the same page and compare and contrast the different types of service models. In this chart, it explains the difference between the four models, starting from on-premises to IaaS and then PaaS and SaaS. As. It is self-explanatory that the resources managed by us are huge in on-premises and little less in IS and further less or reduced in PaaS and nothing to manage when it comes to SaaS. Let me also explain the different types of cloud services through an example like this. Let's say that uh, you have a crush on cake and you're planning to bake one yourself. Now let's look at the options you can have. You can make all the ingredients yourself, be it the flour, uh, butter, and uh, you know, put together and bake the whole thing yourself using your own oven, pan, you know, the needed water and the rest. You get an idea, right? Everything is yours and that's on premises all that you use is owned by you and nothing is managed by the vendor the other options you can have is buy the ingredients and mix and bake the cake yourself now this would be like IaaS. here the infra is managed by the provider and we get to use it and customize it the way we want it here the cloud service is a shared responsibility the other options you still have on hand is simply pick a phone and order a cake now this is a lot simpler than the rest we discussed so far you know it's simply picking the phone and ordering the cake and pay for it when it arrives simple and when it reaches home you will have to arrange the table garnish the cake if that's needed and then enjoy the cake. It's the same way with PaaS. Just get the platform in which you would run your code and upload your code and start running your application. Here you and the vendor still share the responsibility. You still have one more option left that is simply go out and dine. This is a lot lot simpler that it requires no effort from us at all. You buy the fully finished and garnished cake and pay for it and walk out. No responsibility on making the cake. It's the same way with SaaS. We buy the finished product and pay for the finished application. I really hope you enjoy this video. I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.